In the last video with the bread truck, you saw me tow the red 72 Beetle from California to Arizona with the bread truck. Well, I needed a motor, so I started looking around on Facebook Marketplace for a motor for the Red Bug. And what I started to learn was that you can buy an entire car, here's two of them right here, for $2,600. They were charging, people on the internet are charging two to $4,000 for a motor alone. So I started looking around Facebook Marketplace to find a car that I could just get that was complete. So this right here is very interesting to me. It's a 1973 Beetle. It says, looking for a new project. This Baja needs TLC, asking 1500, and it ran a while ago. So that's a good sign, and it looks pretty complete, although it does look like it's quite a mess. So uh, I don't know. I kind of was interested in this, and I was weighing the options of whether I should get just a Volkswagen motor, or should I get just a whole car? Because this is way cheaper than how much just a car, than just a motor would be. Uh, this was advertised for $1,500. It has a lot of Baja parts. Um, it's obviously a project. It's a little bit disassembled. It's been sitting in a field for quite a while. So me and my friends decided to uh, head out to Flagstaff to take a look at this bug. Me, Rye, and Bruce went out there with the intention of bringing a beetle home with us just in case it was cool enough and I would want to get it. So we followed the owner of the beetle to her house down this forest service road quite a ways and into the woods where we came up upon a Baja beetle that um, I was pretty interested in. Take a look. Tires are looking pretty gnarly. That one has some cracks in it. This one's completely empty. It's got a little little leak here. So long story short, I was able to make a deal with the owner of the Beetle and I brought it home. The motor did turn freely, so we connected it up to the bread truck and started our haul back to Williams. There you can see it is in the rear view camera. And uh, we're taking it back to Williams, Arizona to start seeing what we can do with it. This is back, you can see it right next to the old 72. And um, it's looking pretty good. It's a little bit of a mess. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Mill Supply, the Step Van Masters. So this is my brand new, new to me, 1973 Baja Bug. Uh, it is a bit of a project, but it's pretty complete too. It's got a lot of parts on it that are already done. It's already been lifted. It's a good bit higher than a, a standard beetle. You can see it's a good four or five inches higher than a standard Beetle is. So I'm, I'm really stoked with the ride height. I think it's awesome. Uh, if I can get this thing running and driving, I'm just going to put the red one on the back burner for now. And then this will be my car that I'm going to be driving and towing behind the bread truck. So I don't know. I really do like it. Uh, it's got some interesting things going on with it. It's a 73 Beetle pan with a uh, 1600 dual port uh, motor, but the body I noticed is not the right body for this pan. So I've done a little investigation and this is a 1967 body on a 73 pan, which is cool for me because I like the older style beetles a little bit more than the newer ones. For one of the first things I noticed that there's usually a little plastic vent right here and this one doesn't have it. Another thing that these have usually is right here is a fuel door where you open it up and put fuel in it. And I'm like, hey, how come this doesn't have it? 
this really should have it but there's no evidence it was ever here this is an earlier body put on a 73 pan which is pretty common you know they wreck these bajas they throw another body on it whatever But yeah, I'm just gonna turn it over. That way I can like listen to it back or show it to somebody that actually knows something and see what they think of the sound of it. But I'm gonna go ahead and start it up because the um, battery's hooked up. I've had the PB blaster in the cylinder soaking overnight. And see, I did this too. I just moved this like a little bit. And it seems looser than it was. So I think the um, I think the PB blaster has been working a little bit. So we'll crank it up and see if it sounds a little strong start uh, a little stronger. Turn? Very little. Good. Okay, well it didn't good. even turn at all that time. That's not good. I wonder if I should put a charger on the battery, but I thought that battery had a high charge. I think we should get the CRV and hook it up. Okay, let's do it. CRV? Go for it. I think maybe that battery's a little low or something. Which is weird because it's brand new and it, I don't know. But I'm gonna disconnect the terminals inside. Cause I don't know what kind of draw might be hooked up or. So I don't really like leaving the battery terminals hooked up for, for right now. Okay, what did it do? It just turned a little bit. Let's try it again. You have to turn the key all the way off and then back. Okay, it's off. Nothing. It's just drawing the voltage way down. Yeah. Well, I think I should put a battery charger on this. Go for it. Probably enough for now. Doesn't sound any better. Ready when you are. Yeah. Did you hear it? No. Let's try it again. Oh yeah. It don't even have enough to turn it now. Yeah. I do hear that. Sound like it's coming from the distributor. Ready? Yep. Ready? Nice. It's a little better. Hey everybody, big things going on again today here. I got the Baja hooked up to the back of the bread truck. I'm heading down to Sedona. I found a Volkswagen air-cooled Volkswagen mechanic in Sedona. And I'm gonna make a little road trip down to Sedona 
and hand off this beetle to him for a little while see if he can work some magic on getting it running i've done some things to it here and there and it was nothing easy so i don't know i put a new battery a new starter in it stuff like that but uh i still haven't heard it run yet so i'm wondering i'm hoping if, that this motor is a good motor and that i could just get it running the way it is if not it may need a small rebuild which won't be crazy too much money but uh you know if i can drive it without rebuilding it for right now that's what i would like to do i'm gonna haul it down to sedona right now get on the road to sedona and uh I don't know, I'm just going to inch my way down there slowly over the next day, and uh, it's only two hours away, so I'm about to get on the road. Here we go. Wish me luck. I love this feature with the backup camera. I can keep an eye on the bug and see what it's doing back there. Keep a close eye out for smoke coming from the tires or anything like that in case there's a bad bearing or a tire blown out or something. I can just drive and see what the bug is doing back there. And... Uh, yeah, here we go. We're about to head out. Put you guys in the time lapse holder. Ooh, here we go. Time for a time lapse. When I need parts for the bread truck, there's one place I go, and that's millsupply.com. Mill Supply is a sponsor of this channel. You can go to their website, order up parts, and they'll have them sent out to you as quick as possible. They have parts for old Volkswagens, vintage cars, metal replacement panels, so you can get your car looking pretty again. They have a huge warehouse with shelf after shelf filled with parts ready to send you out. And they're working hard to keep everything in stock and get them sent out to you as quickly as possible. Mill Supply is located in Cleveland, Ohio. They are a family owned business. The bread truck has been going for hundreds of miles, towing Volkswagens across the country. And I've been traveling in it for five years. And Mill Supply has helped me out on numerous occasions. Their team is standing by to pack up whatever you need and get it on the truck so that you can get back on the road. So go to millsupply.com if you need anything for your rig at all. Keep cranking. Thank you. 